Tisha B'Av is a day that both the first and the second Beis HaMikdash, the temples, were destroyed. Because of this, and because of a whole host of other tragedies that befell the Jewish people on this day, the rabbis of that generation declared the ninth day of Av as a day of fasting and mourning until the coming of Mashiach. It is also a time for us to reflect upon all the tragedies that befell Klal Yisrael throughout the past year and throughout the ages of Klal Yisrael. Here are some relevant laws to keep in mind as we approach the ninth day of Av. Number one, the day before Tisha B'Av, towards the evening, we eat the Suda HaMav Sekes. One is not allowed to eat more than two cooked items at this meal. It is customary for the meal to consist of a piece of simple bread dipped into ashes, along with a hard-boiled egg also dipped into ashes, and some water. One should eat this meal alone while sitting on a low chair, reflecting on the day that is about to begin. Number two, just before sunset, one must remove the leather shoes and go to shul. And we pray our vit, myriv, and we listen to the Megillah of Eicha. The Megillah talks about the Jewish suffering the Jewish nation went through during that period of time, the period of the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash. And it gives us strength to get through the challenges today and for all days. We sit on low chairs during the reading as a sign of mourning. Number three, it is forbidden to eat and drink, wear leather shoes, wash or shower, smear lotions and oils, and to have marital relations from sunset of Tisha B'Av at night until nightfall of the next evening. Number four, we recite Kinos after Shachras as well on the day of Tisha B'Av in the morning. It is customary to sit on a low chair until midday. And number five, Talus and Tefillin are not worn on the morning of Tisha B'Av. Instead, we don't wear them until the afternoon when we daven Mincha. And number six, one should not do activities for pleasure. Instead, a person's focus should be on mourning and reflection. What he could do to help bring the final redemption. It is our fervent hope and prayer that these halachas won't be necessary this year as we anticipate the coming of Mashiach. We should be Zoha to see Mashiach, Bemhera Amen.